So in this video today, I'll be doing a BIOS update on an MSI GL65 9SC. So to begin with, I'll be going to the MSI website, which is all relatively straightforward to do. Going to the support page, from there selecting my model, and then scrolling or going straight to download. I'm not sure why three other little download buttons are there. I'm not sure if you're, there was previous BIOS releases or what the case is. But anyway, the, on the website itself, it doesn't really have much information regarding the change log or what's actually getting revised in the BIOS. But if I extract them, we can quickly have a read of that. go. Yeah, where did I put it? Uh, up the top here. Bingo. So we've got three files. Mm, and it doesn't want to move to the root directory. But anyway, as we can see here, it says it apparently fixes a screen flickering issue on the 120 hertz built-in panel. Personally, I haven't experienced any of that with mine. I was expecting a few more different revisions in there. Maybe different fan curve speeds, something like that. Something to help with thermals. But at the minute, we're getting really not much there at all. But anyway, I'm gonna now probably format that SD card or that USB. So I'll just skip this footage. Anyway, so I've moved that onto the USB and now I'm also loading up the PDF file that was included in the BIOS download. There's really not that much there. I want the power cable connected on it. And then from there you should be able to do the update within the UEFI. All looking like fairly standard stuff. But I'm just going to move ahead and go straight to doing it. So to access the BIOS from here, I can go into Start, Settings, Recovery, and then Advanced. So from here we go to Troubleshooting, Additional, and then we're, there we go. I'm going to go to the right hand side one, tell the laptop to restart from there, and that will end up with us going into the BIOS. And from there, we have UFEI update. We'll run that, point it to my USB. which is just the first one and from there I can see the BIOS so I'll tell it to do it, go ahead and do the update and it will power it on and off a few times so while it's doing that I'll just go do another job but I'll let it keep going ah, and as we see it's gone straight back into the BIOS again this is normal proceed with flash yes now it's a matter of waiting for it to complete that update
and here we go one update complete now with this it does restart quite a few times that is expected now don't be too alarmed that you think that you may have bricked your device what I'd recommend doing basically from here is if you've got to this stage now just walk away from the machine the machine might restart up to about four times I think it was and it took a couple of minutes to do it in total so what you're watching now is real-time footage of that so this will give you an idea on how many times it does turn off and on again I'm assuming it's just reverting all BIOS settings back to default and then from there it's trying to find the correct boot device to actually start from all just theories not too sure what it's really doing but I wouldn't recommend manually turning it off or pulling the power on it just let it do its thing here we go as you can see windows are starting to boot up now and there we go we start that once more with the BIOS update version 1.02 from here I'm just going to load back up into the BIOS and just see if there's any noticeable changes. From a quick overview I didn't really see anything different but I'm just going to let the footage play out from here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.